Howdy, good old folks. For this week, we have chosen the devil all the time. The dark and greedy tale of the U.S. Southern County, Coal Creek. This film has been a highly anticipated Netflix release, promising a twisted plot and a star-studded cast. However, it fails to meet up the hype, ending up in a state of crash and burn. So what went wrong that even an ensemble crew could not fix? Her name's Lenora. Worry not, dearies. Try and keep up as we get down and dirty to sort out the mess that is the devil all the time. U.S. Marine Villard Russell, played by Bill Skarsgård, a.k.a. Pennywise of the It Chapter 1 and 2 fame, is a soldier with PTSD dealing with everyday life. <laughs> Skarsgård nailed the character with his looming figure, but his character arc seemed lost and illogical. Hell, they having a little revival meet. Dad. This is yours, the Lord's turn, not nobody else's. He beats people up, abuses his kid, prays like a lunatic, you hear me? and kills himself. You hear me? Well, so, what's new? PTSD is one of Hollywood's cliché, but a little imagination could have done wonders. What taxi driver? That one, the one that's sitting there. Wait a second, I want to talk to you. Look, Don't I just have to. Wait a second. Taxi? Take Martin Scorsese's Taxi Driver, for instance. Robert De Niro's Travis Bickle is a war veteran turned taxi driver, suffering from PTSD. All my life needed was a sense of some place to go. Who ends up as a heroic vigilante and gets away with murder even after killing a dozen people. A bullseye! <laughs> The film picks up a little pace when Russell's grown-up son, Arvin, played by R. Spidey from MCU. Hey, could you hold this for a second? Thanks. Tom Holland goes on a crusade to kill all the bad guys. Bruce Wayne. Sorry. I wouldn't be bothering you here, but your people keep telling me you're unavailable. The recent Batman, Robert Pattinson, is a satanic preacher, Reverend Preston, a wolf in sheep's clothing who represents the violent impact of faith and evil on multiple generations over the course of time. And in the most dramatic scene of the film, the filthy preacher is finally shot in cold blood by Irvin. Way to go, boy! Pattinson received wide-scale praise for his Southern dialect. He didn't work with a dialect coach. Instead, he crafted his Southern drawl, taking inspiration from the videos of preachers and pop stars of the time period. Bravo, Pattinson! Delusions! Blaspheme in the law in your mind and in your heart for some wrong done to you by another person. We keep cheering for Arvin as he ends up killing the serial murderers Carl and Sandy Henderson, played by Jason Clarke from Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, and Riley Kale from Mad Max Fury Road. Go back for her! No. Tell him to turn the rig around! The Winter Soldier, Sebastian Stan, plays a corrupt sheriff with a character arc that appears again dull and overused. And gave us a break. It's dead, you owe me. What I'm gonna lose at the bar. Oh shit. You ain't losing nothing there. When it comes to psychological thrillers, Fargo 1996 is a masterpiece where police chief Marge Gunderson chases a trail of cold blood murders and captures the killer red-handed. Now that's a good cop story. I just don't understand it. <laughs> yeah, you know, we got that big statue up there. In the finale to this gloom fest, we have a face-off between Arvin and Sheriff Bodecker. Look, you let loose that gun, I'll show you! When Arvin kills Budek, by sheer luck we must say, we thought the film actually had a silver lining. And then, BAM! The kid takes a ride in a car with Charles Manson. It's like a rough day. Charles Manson who? Well, we suggest taking a detour to Quentin Tarantino's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. That was the best acting I've ever seen in my whole life. A classic twist on history with Tarantino's visual flair. Tarantino's take on the mansion's cult activity and murderous history is a sure treat for cult classic lovers.
All's hell that ends hell. Dare to watch the devil all the time. Bless y'all. Thank you.